Hi guys, I'm Shmi and today's a little bit random. The first thing I've got to do actually is use the FF to transport the McLaren bumper. This has been sitting around at my flat in London um, since that happened. Obviously the car itself is completely fine, that's nothing to worry about. But I wanted to keep this because I kind of decided that at some point in the future I might actually do something with that or like put it on display in my garage as some kind of weird memento. So I asked McLaren if I could keep it and I've still got it. But there is nowhere in this flat that I can store it. So what I'm actually going to do today is take it out of town to somewhere where I can offload it and not have to worry about it. So I'm going to transport my McLaren bumper in my Ferrari but there are a couple of other things I want to talk about with regards to some of my other cars. Whether I should tune my Focus RS, whether I should tune the AMG GTR when that comes. So I'm just going to go with it really and see what today has in store on what is a rather wet and miserable day but one where I'm transporting the bumper. I just looked a complete fool in my apartment building going past the receptionist with this pile of stuff because I'm also taking some boxes home. Um, another quick shout out again to Marshall because after Gumball 3000 they hooked me up with that speaker, uh, the Stanmore Bluetooth speaker that I use in my bedroom, it's awesome. Um, and I also have some Bose speakers at my uh, computer at my desk here. But I'm going to be throwing all of this into the, uh, into the FF for which I still have my stupidly wrapped key in the light blue like the LT Coupe and the purple like the LT Spider. The other key, you might remember, it's painted um, in the uh, Blue Le Mans paintwork, but I don't like using it because I don't want to scratch it or damage it in any way. Uh, but I'm using this car tons at the moment um, for like pretty much every daily trip. Uh, the Focus RS is still up in Scotland at the minute. Um, eventually it will come, I guess, back down to London, but for now it's a uh, the FF for pretty much everything and this is basically why um, it's just so super easy to use you know put the seats forward I'm gonna be able to take the uh, bumper no problems here I think um, squeeze it in through that so um, the big question is whether I can do this with a camera in my hand but I think so fun fact because it's carbon it literally weighs nothing I can hold this bumper with one finger literally in the air with one finger no stress we go, can we get it in? Yeah, we're in. Nice and easy. That actually fit in the McLaren as well as it happens. Um, and then just these two to throw in as well. A bit random, I know. Daily vlogs, hey? But that in. And I think I'll throw the other box in uh, the back in a moment. But let me just come over to the McLaren that lives over here because I posted this on Instagram the other day. It's rather amusingly snug, the uh, fit in the space. I used to, this used to be my only space. So I used to have the 12C here, then the 650S. And it's not actually as hard to get it in as it looks, um, which is sensible reversing. And I've put it under the cover because I know I'm not gonna drive it for a little while. So I cleaned it, uh, well, I went to Posh Wash, cleaned it up and uh, tucked it back in. Nice and lurking. That's the cover from Specialized Covers that I got when I got my 12C, which feels so long ago. Maybe I should update it with a, um, a purple one with silver stripe, silver piping and logo or something. Right, to the FF. Now I've had a lot of people ask me why I tend to leave doors open when I start cars, and that's because by doing so, you get added noise. <laughs> It is so freaking grey and grim and miserable in London right now. This is standard kind of awesome winter weather. It's just going to rain all day, soaking wet. Not exactly the kind of day you want to be taking out a McLaren or a Ferrari, even if it is a practical Ferrari. But hey, I want to use this car and show it and put it through its paces and do everything it's supposed to do. I mean, it has features like you just heard, the stop and start, which is such a random thing in a V12 um, Ferrari. But hey, might as well do a the best to help the environment. Will it come to a stop again now? Yeah, there we go. Truly bizarre, but hey, it's the car I use all the time. 12,000 miles in the last year, pretty much. So getting its, uh, it's getting its its life, I suppose, and it's doing a brilliant job of it in the process. Um, I think if I had the Focus RS here today, I'd probably have taken that. That would be a little bit more appropriate in today's weather. But they're both all wheel drive. This will have the, um, at the moment it's still on the summer tires. I don't know if you could see earlier, but the Soto Zeros are actually stored just behind the um, where the McLaren was, so the winter tires for the Ferrari. So I'll have those um, back on it 
pretty soon, I guess. Normally when it gets to about seven degrees every day, that's where you want to. Um, and then hopefully this winter, I will actually find some um, snow to drive it on because that's something I really want to try, a Ferrari on snow that can actually handle it because I've seen some pretty cool videos of FFs doing their thing at driving up some snowy sort of uh, surfaces, even in the snow dome. They did one in the snow dome in the UK, which was fun. Um, but that, I think, let me bring on to the next topic. I want to talk about tuning cars a little bit, modifications to cars, things like the Focus RS. Should I do some stuff to it? I'm thinking maybe I'll do a tune, maybe I'll do an exhaust, maybe I'll start modifying it and playing with it a little bit um, and having a bit of fun because why not? And then that got me thinking AMG GTR. Wouldn't it be cool to have a Rentec or a Brabus AMG GTR? Um, I don't really know what I would need, but I don't think they offer too many carbon fiber parts uh, for the GTR from the factory. So if I wanted all the sort of other like parts around the vents and things in carbon, I think that has to be done um, after, after market. By the way, these 20 mile an hour speed limits in London are truly, truly annoying. Like, why so slow? Um, although driving in this in comfort mode, it's not too bad, and then it probably comes to a stop again. Comfort mode is absolutely brilliant for just chilling, and then you turn the Manatino to sport and press bumpy road to soften the suspension again if you want to um, have some more fun, turn off auto for the manual paddles. I'm trying to think when the last time this car actually appeared in a video was. Um, outside of being in a car park or something when I actually filmed something with it, because I don't think it was that recently, but it is so, so brilliant for this kind of purpose. Oh, engine on into neutral wasn't me sounds freaking mega just a tiny blip like that just it's a really really good car the ff so many people asking as well should i will i upgrade it to the gtc4 lusso and i don't have any plans to because by the time you've spec'd the v12 gtc4 lusso you've spent a lot of money um over 300k pounds and um you know this car's worth i guess 140 150 pounds so it's a massive upgrade cost. And to me, at the moment, I just can't justify it, because the spec of this, you know, I'd, I'd have to order a new GTC 4 Lusso to match this spec, because the Mont Blue is just a daydream. It's amazing, such a cool color. Um, so no plans for that. Um, and I have no, no plans to retire this car either. I have had it for one year, one month, and one day, actually, since I bought this car at the time I'm filming this. So uh, it's had a pretty good innings, and I don't see that innings ending anytime soon, because like I said, I want to take it to the Alps or something in the winter, and uh, just generally use it more, because it's a great car for just, I don't know, just I just feel so comfortable and always enjoy driving it. complete boxes moved around kind of unsurprisingly um, but I'm gonna go and get rid of all of this stuff now before heading back into town I'm on my way back and guess what no change in the weather it is utterly atrocious this is truly miserable today not cool British weather today has been a shocking day to drive the weather just non-stop grim it's still raining it's four o'clock and it's pretty much dark now, which never makes things very exciting either. But I swear, as soon as the weather gets a little bit bad, people completely forget how to drive. I have seen some shocking things this afternoon. Loads and loads of traffic, people driving really, really slowly. And a few minutes ago, actually, I was sat waiting to turn right. I um, sat with my right-hand indicator on, which obviously is in the funny place on here. Um, and for some reason, just as there was a gap in the oncoming traffic and I went to, to turn, looked in the mirror and a motorbike came straight past me, 20, or a scooter, 20, 25 miles an hour, straight past a car that was indicating right at a junction to turn right. He must have had a complete death wish. Fortunately, I spotted him, so I managed to wait, but that was not sensible at all. I mean, I've just had a day of traffic and not really getting anywhere, but I wanna get home because there's something else I want to show you when I get back. That is a bit weird coming back, seeing the McLaren undercover. Doesn't normally look like that. 
The thing I wanted to show you is this. So after my period at the Nürburgring earlier this year, Racetrack Art sent me this rather large and very cool Nürburgring outline that I've got on my wall here made out of wood. But one of the cool things is as well as that, we've arranged a promotion for you guys. So we're going to be giving away in partnership with Racetrack Art for outlines of circuits. Over 700 circuits available. So there's a lot of choice in different sizes. So we're gonna be giving away one large one and also three of the uh, smaller ones, which are rather cool. So we've got a little Nürburgring outline inside a big Nürburgring there as well. So the link and information for that is all down below. You'll need to click the link over to the Shmi 150 website, answer some questions, and then we'll be picking the winner and getting those out to you. If you'd also like to buy one, negotiated with the guys, a 20% discount code, which you'll find down below as well. So you can check that out at Racetrack Art. But I think that's really quite cool to have on the wall there. Um, I like that a lot. Uh, of the Nürburgring outline. Nice little memento of my uh, of my stay there with uh, Boosted Boris earlier. Well, it wasn't even that long ago, in August, um, in summer. So yeah, this has been uh, a longer day than planned with the traffic, but a fun one. I managed to get rid of my bumper. Concept of taking a McLaren bumper and a Ferrari is utterly bizarre. And now I have that on the wall in my living room, which is cool as well. So go check it out. Link and information is down below. But thank you ever so much for watching, guys. Appreciate it, as always. Let me also know your thoughts, by the way, on what you think I should do with the Focus RS and AMG GTR. If I should modify them, what I should do. I've got to do my spec of the AMG GTR soon as well. But lots on the horizon and some very, very exciting stuff coming up between now and Christmas. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, as always, and I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers.